Northwestern College held a memorial event in San Isidro today to mark 35 years since the McDonald's massacre. Although the actual McDonald's may not be there anymore, those dark memories still remain. Alicia Summers is live from the San Isidro Memorial. Alicia? That's right, 35 years ago today, this is where the McDonald's mass shooting happened. And these are pictures of the 21 people killed, the youngest just 18 months old. Today, this building is a higher education center, and this memorial sits right out front for everyone to remember. This marble memorial stands as a memory of the innocent lives lost in the deadliest mass shooting until 1991. 35 years ago, 21 people were killed in what's now called the San Isidro McDonald's Massacre. Life goes on, but we, we never forget. Guillermo Flores was 12 years old and out of town at the time. He lost his 11-year-old brother, David. I was the rough one, he was the sweet one. So maybe that's why God chose me to stay here, because I'm a little bit tougher. He says his brother was with two friends, also 11. They rode their bikes to McDonald's to get ice cream. They were gunned down outside as they were parking their bikes. Only one of David's three young friends survived. This is healing for all of us. Yes. Your support is healing for all Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Battalion Chief David Connor was among the first firefighters on scene. When we went through the door, of course, there was no way to prepare for what we were you know what we were going to see. He says walking into the carnage is a memory that will never go away. What I remember there being was was bullet casings. It, it seemed like thousands. This 300 square foot area in front of the site, which is now a Southwestern College, would become a permanent memorial. What today shows as we honor uh, the lives that were lost and the lives that continue is the resilience of our community and the power of who we are as community. After dealing with such loss, Flores says live every day as if it were your last. Appreciate your family, your friends, you know, because we're here one day and before you know it, 415 July 18, I'm McDonald's eating a cone and you're gone. And aside from the 21 people killed that day, 19 people were injured. As for the 41-year-old gunman, he was shot and killed by a police sniper.